Oh, what is what is that? That's not coffee. That's that's not good. What is that? So, I've come back to this legend a few times this year, and I know it isn't technically my story, but it's a wonderful D&D story that gets me chuffed every time I remember it. I'm sure we all have that fear of misspelling something in something official, and being around many creators who themselves are trying to publish work. This is just a little bit of a word of warning to triple check everything. It's 1994. The Encyclopedia Magica is supposed to come out. It's a four volume supplement for second edition AD&D that contains all the magic items and spells for all you casters out there. Whole index A to Z of everything you need that's magical. And you know, they did proofread it and they did catch something. There was around 16 or so pages where the word wizard was accidentally labeled as mage. A good catch. And if it had come out like that, I'm sure people would still be a bit confused, but I'd understand. But I think what we got was so much better. One of their editors went back to make the switch. The only problem is, you can't spell damage without mage. A few words you can't spell without mage. I'd like to take this time now to not only read you some of the parts from this book, but... Maybe go through some of the other times that maybe we got a few misspellings that ended up being amazing. Now, without the books or anything, I'm just relying on Google for all this, but let's see, let's see what we can find. Now, it was only 16 pages in this one, so sadly we didn't get a lot. But we did get so many instances of this menacing de wizard out there. And how everything, there was, there was flavors of de wizard, there was cold de wizard, there was fire de wizard. A whole gang of the wizards. There's one snippet here of this cube of frost resistance, I suppose. It's it's a magic spell or a or an item, but you know when you activate it, which you know creates a little orb of frost resistance, and if it receives over a hundred points of the wizard in one turn, the cube's destroyed, as well as dealing some cold the wizard back. There's this one. The user may look into the bowl. Concentrate on any place or object and cause a wizard of the place or object to appear. Clearly, Apple got their hands on a new, a new uh, product here. I wizard, I suppose. <laughs> the more familiar the object or area, the clearer the I wizard. The tower can absorb 200 points of the wizard before collapsing. The wizard sustained is cumulative. <laughs> And the fortress cannot be repaired. Although, a wish restores 10 points of the wizard sustained. That a real a wish restores 10 points of the wizard? That's not a lot. And the uh, creator of this little snippet that they've made mentions that uh, the scourge known as the wizard destroyed many magic items. What a menace. I love stuff like this. I love... I love when something small turns into something big. I love when a small joke turns out to be an overarching plot, or when you accidentally do something and it becomes a titular part of a character or something. It's 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 amazing when this stuff kind of happens. I implore you all to look up like misprintings and stuff of anything, but Wizards of the Coast specifically, if that if this is the hobby you enjoy, right? There's this one from Descent into Avernus, I assume, because it mentions an infernal war machine. And this, this is what you're meant to read to your players. It's in that little box that implies its narrative. So, you see and two-wielded... And, and, is that... You see a two-wheeled infernal war machine parked next to a large rock. Standing atop the rock, peeing into the hot wind, is a slender elf-like figure. This, uh, paints a completely different picture. I assume they wanted him to be peering into the hot wind, or maybe he is just taking a tinkle. It doesn't help that his name's Smiler. Maybe it is just the N that is the typo, and this dude is just whizzing off a rock. There was, and I can't find a lot of it now, but there was a series called The Typos of Doom, illustrated by Stan. Stan. 
and it was a collection of some of the typos that they had found and corrected, but they thought were entertaining enough to write into comics. The only ones I can find being about a pie fiend and censors hanging from the wall. I wish I had the rest because some of them were really good. You know, maybe my point isn't that you should triple check your work. Don't check your work. Let us have these typos. I love them. Give them to me. Anyway, that's my ramblings at 6am. I just, I wanted to share this. It came back up recently and if you didn't know about it, I, 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 I wanted to make sure people knew about it because it's amazing. I don't know what I'm making next. I'll see you in whatever that is. <laughs> see you guys.